the Indian community that you rally around and you hang out with? You do. Like in the book, the Indian, uh, what's it called? The Indian... Um, the Insta. Indian National Student. Group. Correct. That, that little, Indian Student Association. Little, uh, yeah, Indian Student Association. You know, they rally together, they come and pick you up from airports, they give you so much support, they help you find an apartment. They do. I think that's, that kind of mitigates the feeling of loneliness. No? It does. And in fact, that's a very fascinating part of it because Indians, they are sticks together. Unlike here. Exactly. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, here we are always finding fault that Gujarati is in Maharashtra and Gujarat ki pilgrims have evacuated or not and all that. So, it's a little bit. But I think overall, Indians would stick together. Okay. And in fact, it's very funny. They'll celebrate all festivals. Like even here, sometimes you might not celebrate Durga Puja or Holi, okay. well, Holi Ma. But, but then that, that sense comes in because you are far away from home. Every so single you, festival so you is celebrated. So, you want to celebrate everything. You want to get together. You do a potluck. Then you do a little puja. But, but they do that. The book tries to portray the different types of concepts, con uh, con misconceptions uh, and thoughts that Indian people have in their minds about the US and life in the US and really tries to bring out that difference between them, that contrast. Did you want to come back to India because um, of patriotism or because India was the land of opportunity, the new land of opportunity? It's actually a combination of both. So I'm glad. I, I do have this patriotic streak about me. I was actually born on 15th August, so maybe that's the reason. So it's, it's still a good society to live in. But the point is that India is actually the land of opportunity. There, there is so much to, to be done here. And not just in terms of making money, but in terms of contributing to the country. So you go abroad, you have a good education. It just makes sense to come back and use that here. Those second generation kids who grow up, who are called ABCDs. ABCDs, please do elaborate for those so who... So ABCDs uh, is a very derogatory term. Don't use that on the face of someone. I'm not sure it's derogatory. It's People actually take offense. Really? If you call an ABCD and ABCD, an ABCD? Really? they won't like it. Oh, but you can call it, you and I can call them ABCD. Exactly. We okay. can use it here as long as there's no ABCD. Okay. So there is. Just checking. Okay. ABCD stands for American Born Confused Desi. Uh, so, so really, it, it, it signifies the, the clash that they have within their minds. Because on the one hand, they're growing in America. So they're doing everything that Americans do. They're studying with American kids in school. They're talking in American accents. Uh, but on the other hand, at home they have Indian parents. So at home they are carrying forward the Indian values that, which they left. Exactly, and who, are, who want their kids to also hold on to those values. Wow. But the kids need to adapt to this society. So there is this conflict, yeah? which side should I be on? Should I be on that side or that side? Which is where the C comes in, the confused comes in. Ah. So are people really so easy to classify into two categories when they go from here? They are not. I, I think the average person is probably somewhere between these two. Uh, he is either normal. Actually, there are both types, but maybe the so average, the median These two are the broad yes. categories. They are the extremes. So, so that's what I do. I do satire. 